Hey guys, and welcome back to Feed the Beast. <laughs> Sorry, that was just derpy. <laughs> anyway, welcome back. Um, this place is very messy right now. Um, I'll just explain a few things, um, what I've been doing, and I'll explain to you what we're going to be doing in today's episode. So as you know, I had a bunch of machines last time, which pretty much spanned the back of the room here. Um, but it was really cluttered up, and some of the machines were powered by EU, and some of them were powered by blue electricity um, from my solar panels here. Um, but I decided to break them up into these like units. It's it's a bit like um, it's a bit like a school laboratory at the moment, which um, I kind of like the idea of this. So I I could possibly make micro blocks and put them around here at some point. And uh, make them look like uh, desks or something. So each section has a machine. Um, the idea is that um, if I start from the back here, um, as you can see, um, I've got a cable on each of these. Apart from that one, there's an engine and here also. Um, the idea is that I'm going to replace um, the floor. Well, basically, there's going to be cables running under the floor. So the next level down is going to have to go down one more block. So I've got some ceiling height uh, to hide power cables in. So uh, these are going to be independently powered through a grid that I'm going to build um, in between the two floors in in like so there's going to be there's going to be an a, like a like an airspace in between the f this floor and the roof of the next floor downwards if you understand what I mean so all the cables are going to be concealed and so forth like that um, but at the moment I'm currently using generators to get my power um, I don't have anything that produces EU at the moment. Um, as you know, in the last episode, um, I was trying to come up with a solution to convert Bluetricity into EU, which I kind of um, got working. I've got the Michael Jacksons working anyway. Um, this machine takes Michael Jacksons, if my keyboard wants to wake up. Uh, we're too... Hmm. Yeah, this machine takes Michael Jacksons. And as you can see, I've got the Bluetricity engine um, power in it, and it totally works like a boss. Um, I am got anything to show you in it at all, actually. Let me just go and grab something. Um, I literally went mining not too long ago, actually. So um, I picked up a few ores. Let's just get the one copper and pop it in. And then I'll show you what else I've got. I'm currently recording with Fraps today, so uh, let me know how the recording quality is. Uh, with Fraps, I don't tend to get... Um, as many frames as I do with Bandicam, which is kind of weird. But anyway, um, as you can see, you get two copper dust with the one copper, which is awesome. And then put in the harper here, put that in the harper. Um, and then, as you can see, there's loads of tin dust being created here. And I've made an additional two overclockers. I give Maz one of my overclockers um, yesterday as a gift to put in one of her machines. So this generator. It's generating power and it's pouring it in the bat box here, but obviously this is draining the bat box at the moment. Um, something I made uh, yesterday is this actual sawmill here. Um, if you put wood in it, <coughs> excuse me. If you put wooden logs in it, you get six planks back rather than um, shapeless crafting that you can do in your own infantry here, which only gives you four. So that's kind of good. But it also gives you wood pulp, which you can put in here in the compressor, and it'll give you a wood plate. And the wood plate can give you 4K of EU at 10 EU per tick. That's if you put it in a generator. And uh, it also gives you heat as well. <clears throat> if you put it in a solid fueled. Um, solid fuel firebox. So what I've been doing, I've been putting these guys in here and they've been generating a lot of electric. Obviously this is draining the bat box at the moment so it's working very epically nice. So the idea in here is to remove all the generators. I'll turn the generators into windmills at some point. Um, I prepared myself for that actually. I've been making... where is it to? I've been making carbon plates, which I need to put around the generator, and it gives me a windmill, so that's kind of cool. So we're going to put a windmill, um, well, some of these small windmills at some position on this building at some point in the future. 
So as you can see, the place is really cluttered right now. But I've got um, I got something systematic going up. It's a bit, I mean, like it's not totally automatic, um, but it's you know it's doing the job at the moment. As you know, this is um, I am long started playing on here, so I'm doing kind of well, I think. Um, up here, I have got something epic. Check this out. This is amazing. Let me just have a quick sleep if I can. No one's on the server. Um, where's my bed? Okay, can I sleep? Yeah, let's just make it daytime and I'll show you my Bluetricity windmill. <clears throat> or red power. Bluetricity red power, something like that. So let's head on out the front. Um, I've also finished the roof off in here. I went with the poo colored wood. I know I didn't like it, but, um, you know, it's kind of okay. I know there's darker wood in the game. I have found out, so... You know, I could possibly try it, but I'm, this, the, the poo colored wood has sort of grown on me. And uh, let's just jump off the edge here, and I'll show you what I have made. Whoa! Check that out, man. Windmill time. That is looking absolutely ding-dong. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm really considering um, building it out a little bit. Let's just check if there's no creepers behind me. Yeah, I'm seriously considering building it out a little bit by here. And bringing the windmill out a little bit more. But um, I really do like it there. Maybe I should drop it so it's mid-section with this apex too. But it is looking kind of cool. Like My base is you know, is coming along nicely. I'm, I'm really enjoying the progress I've got going at the moment. Um, as also, you can check my mini-map at the top right of the screen. I've made it round. And um, I've also put a skin on it, which makes it look like a compass. So, um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really, really digging this. Okay, but today... Oh, yeah, I've just noticed Fraps doesn't have a timer on it, too. So I have no idea how long this episode is going to be. Damn you, Fraps. Okay, so today we are going to check out the recipe for the um, quarry. Um, as you know, I've got a space down here for... Whoa, 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 whoa! Where did you come from? Scally in here, too. Okay, but I've made this floor here for the quarry. I showed you this last episode, I'm sure I did. Why are these creepers here being gay? Alright, let's get out of here. Before something goes wrong. Okay, so in the recipe for making a quarry, I know you need a diamond drill. Oh, I don't have another piece of that. Anyway, never mind. I know you need a diamond drill, so let's just check it. But I do have a um, a mining drill, a standard mining drill. So, um, I just need to upgrade this. If you just hear that sound, it just means a video has just been rendered. Um, I got a Far Cry um, video going up. Probably yesterday it went up, actually. So make sure you check it out. Okay, so for the quarry, we need... Um, a diamond drill. Okay, a diamond drill. Diamond gears. Okay, that's four diamonds per gear. Okay, gold gear, iron gear is totally acceptable. This is a standard... Oh, it's an advanced circuit. That might be doable. Okay, so we need an advanced circuit, three diamonds, and titanium ingots. Right, let's just go and check if I got any titanium. I only need two, so possibly... Lead. Zinc. What's that in the item frame? Is that? What's that? That's lead. Okay, so I'm going to have to check the recipe on making zinc. Mm. But we've got 20 diamonds in here, so, you know, it's all potentially um, in my grasp now to... You know, just make all this come to life exceptionally well. Um, I can hear mobs. Um, I think me and Maz are going to do go mining later as well. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put it at the end of this video. It totally depends how long this video is. But um, is this if this video is too long, I'll probably just put it out as a bonus um, sort of video too. But uh, if you want to check your channel, make sure you check the link in the description. So... Um, the quarry is possibly um, achievable. What else could I do? I know I need a solar panel anyway, so let's, let's check out this solar panel here. Okay, generator we can do. We've got carbon plates. A silicon plate. So I need to use an industrial blast furnace to make 
a silicon cell and the silicon cell comes from um, redstone that you put into an industrial centrifuge so I went ahead and created an uh, industrial centrifuge but the only problem I have with it is that um, I'm assuming it's not powered with um, EU because um, the bat box is here and I've attempted to link it at the underneath here and it didn't do anything so um, as you can see it's Greg Tech so and it's got this lava slot here so I'm assuming that it needs a lava supply so let's get a bucket of lava and put redstone in here and that no why doesn't that work what's that for combustion it tells you how much energy it gives you okay so do I need to pump lava into it that's the question okay so I've got empty cells which I know need to go here can I not put do I do that no, see, this is all confusing for me. I need to check it out. So, we need the industrial centrifuge to get the, the silicon. <clears throat> silicon from redstone. This is the, the byproduct. So, you get ruby dust. Um, you also get... Yeah, so you get the silicon cells. I'm assuming you get this per... Oh, so do I need to put 32 redstone in here? See, this is baffling me right now, guys. <laughs> okay. So, I think today's episode is going to be quite long. So, uh, make sure you help me out in the comments. I'm sort of struggling on here. Okay, so put that here. That no go. So, uh, it says 13 there. So, maybe I need to hit the, qu the minimum quota. Um, I think I've got tin smelting. Yeah, tin dust. But I put the tin away. Hmm. This place needs a lot of decorating too, as you can see. Okay, so yeah, where's the tin to? Tin. Okay, so let's make some more cells. Um, I made these sulfur torches too, which you get like eight. But there's like loads of this stuff that falls on the floor. Sulfur goo. What is? What do you use sulfur goo for? I'm interested to know. Food chest, totally cranked up. I made these untreated frames by accident when I was making the sale for the... Uh, put that there. When I was making the sale for the windmill upstairs. So um, I may actually make a small bee farm somewhere at some point. Right, let's put these in here. Oh, something happened. Where is... What the hell? It just took the cells and 32 redstone. Did it throw something out? <clears throat> or did it put it in here? Oh! Something's happening. Look! So the power is coming from here and going in here. Is that happening? Let me turn this off. Turn it off! Something's happening, I don't know what... Does the power go in? Let's take... That off... Okay! Wow! It's a slow process. Okay, so the it's going into the bat box. The bat box is draining. Can I put another one here? Okay, it looks like it is a... A matter of time. Ooh. Okay, guys, let me just pause the recording and um, let me hang around here for a little bit and I'll come back once we um, come back with silicon, maybe? Anyway, see you in a moment. Okay, guys, so it appears that the industrial centrifuge takes a lot of power, so um, I need to make. Um, let's take this down. Give me. It's dubs, he just joined. Right, so I need to make some more of those um 
wooden plates so I can get some power. Okay, so this engine needs to go back down. And I have people talking to me on Skype. Okay, so let's grab this piece of wood. Let's take that up. Yeah, this is going to look messy. Um, what I'm going to do off camera, I'm going to just improve the look of my building. I'm slowly but surely getting there. Okay, so let's get the lever, put that here. Yoink. And we need to put some wood in here now. So I should have some planks somewhere. Um, any standard planks? Okay, well, we got birch here. Oh yeah, I've been making loads of bricks too, because I want to make a, a blast furnace. Okay, and we got spruce. Okay, so you can actually see what the sawmill does now. But I know some of you are professionals on this, so, um, you know, don't haste. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, it's given us wood pulp, which is like a byproduct of the sawmill. Um, as well as giving us six planks per log, which is totally amazing. It's way more than what I need. So, I need wood for the roof anyway, so this machine is really going to help me out. Okay, let's just um, okay take that now, and what we'll do, we'll put that in here, and it'll, it'll convert all this into um, pulp, like so. Then the pulp needs to go to this machine here. And then you put that in so, and then the compressor will make it epic. Someone's talking to me on Skype. Okay, so basically someone applied for the server. They got, they got access to the server. And uh, they do want to play on the server even though they applied for it. So we've got one extra slot going on the Ecomade server at the moment, which is kind of cool. So, um, I'll probably send an email out today notifying one of you guys. But um, make sure you check out the, the fan server. It is totally open to anyone else who wants to play Feed the Beast. Um, there's no whitelist on it. Uh, maybe that's a bad thing, who knows. But basically, if the server's abused, I'm just going to turn it off. That's, that's, that's the catch. So, um, yeah. Make sure you check out my uh, last vlog video. Check me out running back and forth. Ah, see, I shouldn't be doing this. I should just be like, like a boss. Okay, so chuck that in here. And see, we're only halfway on the industrial centrifuge. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to do a bit more work off camera before we get the quarry and, um, and this solar panel ready. Because I'm going to have to make an industrial, um, industrial blast furnace next. I know some people on the ser oh, industrial industrial yep yeah, yeah see I know some people on the server have um, machine block have um, loads of uh, machines and stuff but I want to build it myself you see I do take some charity off people um, if you're watching this guys and you're on the server I would like to have a donation of obsidian if someone could. Because I'm going to be working on the never the the never the never hub soon, so um, I need um, I need like a a, a donation of um, obsidian so I can start linking up the portals. I'm going to do that as a favor for people. Oh yeah, and in my bedroom, which is here, I've got a a cactus farm. <laughs> hey ladies, if you ever come around my house, you're going to go prickly bottom. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, the reason why I'm growing um, growing cactuses is because I want... I need waterproof piping, you see. So I can... Where to... Yeah, so I can get pipe waterproof. So I can get pipe waterproof so I can pipe lava. Um, assuming I can pump lava into here. Assuming, anyway. Any more? Man, this thing takes a lot of energy. Okay, let's get some more pulp, put that in here. So as you can see, this sawmill um, is brilliant. Once it warms up, once it gets hot as well, it absolutely, it delivers amazingly well. Okay, let's put that in here. Uh, hurry up. Keep going. Can I put a lava bucket here? 
quite possibly. Anyway, so the wire from the windmill comes down here. This is actually a cover panel uh, covering up the wire, but it comes down here and it links up to these three battery boxes. So there's one here, one here, and one here. So that anything that's going to be powered by uh, blue electricity in future, I'll probably just put the machines along this wall here, just so it makes the process a lot easier for me. Okay, so let's go and check on the industrial centrifuge. Let's take this. We're going to have to put another one in here. Uh, generators are not very good at all, neither. Wow, that's going to take a lot of power. Can I just go air? Uh, can I put that here? Wow, that takes a damn right lot of power. See, I need to put wood in here now. This is ridiculous. Okay. I literally just went mining too, and I used all my coal up on um, on the carbon plates too for the the single windmill. Oh man, this is gonna take a while. Let's put that in here again. Let's put that in the compressor. Uh, maybe I should put the overclockers in the compressor. Yeah, these overclockers are quite cheap to make too, and they really do. Um, they buff up um, the speed of the machines. Keep giving me pulp! Bum 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 bum. Okay, there's free. I think it needs a big constant flow of power, it must do. It seriously must do. I want to keep that lava bucket though. I'm tempted to put it in that slot. I know you can put like a one-use battery in it. Oh yeah, I give my recycling machine to, to um, Maz as well actually. She's using it more than what I used it. So it's gone to a good home. Okay, another four. Man, I just chews it up. Um, there's no gauge on here too to see how much um, power it's using, unfortunately. Damn. So, as you can see my base is coming along okay. I put some of these bushes down. Um, I was going to go all fancy and I installed the shaders mod. Is it GLX shaders or something? Or Aether shaders? I don't know. And basically it makes, like, it puts loads of awesome shading down and stuff, but it makes these leaf blocks sort of wave back and forth, as in like if they were on a tree it wouldn't be too bad but I like using leaf blocks as um, like decorative stuff in the house and they were wobbling back and forth like jelly so I just turned it off it was really horrible I didn't like it one bit okay so it looks like I'm gonna have to jump cut one small guys purely because this is going to take a little bit longer. So I'm going to jump cut once more, guys, and I'll see you once this is finally done. And we have, a, theoretically, we have silicon cells. So I'll see you in just a moment. Finally, we have arrived at our end goal. So we have a silicon cell times 3. A mercury cell times 10, which I have no idea that's going to be used for. Okay, we have ruby dust. And we have pyrite dust, and obviously we put too much redstone in it. Okay, so what do we do to uh, the silicon cell? What do we do? What are we making again? Solar panels. Solar panels. Okay, so silicon plate. We need to make an industrial blast furnace now. Okay, I'm gonna have to work on that for next time. But as you can see, we're very close now to. Um, getting like close to making these damn solar panels silicon plate I don't think there's any other cheaper way to make them okay industrial electrolyzer liquid transposer what's that? liquid silicon see these things are really confusing me damn <laughs> hopefully one day I will play this game so much and so often I would just be beast mode but as you can see this um this industrial centrifuge does not like generators I need a more um consistent source of power so yeah even though I do like this um sawmill it is not 
Um, it's not very good for the stage I'm at at the moment. I seriously need to um, think about using, <coughs> excuse me, using machines that produce a lot more power. So, yep, that's lesson learned for today, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to crack on next time and move on to um, creating this. Um, what were we do? Creating an industrial blast furnace. I'm assuming that's Greg Tech too. Also Greg Tech. Damn. So what's this lava thing here? I have no idea. Let me know in the comments, guys. Right. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Unfortunately, we um, sort of strived through again. But at least, at least we got the industrial centrifuge working. And uh, as you can see, this place is coming along nicely. I'll probably do a lot more building between now and next episode, too. But uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now so you can help me out in future videos of Feed the Beast. Um, thanks for watching, guys. And um, I shall be seeing you very, very soon with another... Oh, damn, I hate it when that happens. They just fall back into each other. I'll be seeing you next time with another Feed the Beast video. So, uh, peace out. Ooh, and there's my uh, paw right on top of the tree. <laughs> but peace out. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I shall be seeing you very, very soon in another Minecraft video. So, laters.